Good morning. Today is the 25th of September. I have to hurry, but I just wanted to come on and share this, you know, and uh, I realized, I think one of my videos didn't get but five views, but if five people listen, and you never know how you can reach somebody, okay? So, let's get started. The purpose of our trials is 1 Peter 4, 12 and 14. We shouldn't expect the Christian life to be easy and comfortable because believers aren't exempt from trials. In fact, becoming a Christian may result in increased trouble and suffering. Peter refers to such hardship as a fiery ordeal and tells us not to be surprised by it. 1 Peter 4 and 12, God uses our suffering for his good purposes and he walks through it with us. Hope in the midst of affliction is possible when we understand what God is achieving in the situation. First, the Heavenly Father sometimes uses painful experiences to purify us. Trials drive us to the Lord and open our eyes to sins that we have tolerated. His discipline is not designed to crush us, but to produce the peaceful, peaceful fruit of righteousness. That's Hebrews 12 and 11. Second, the Lord at times allows difficulty as a way of testing us. His goal is to produce increased faith, endurance, and devotion to Him. Rather than complaining, we should exalt in our tribulations, knowing that they are producing proven character within us. That's Romans 5, 3, and 4. Third, God uses suffering to display his power. Trials humble us by revealing our weaknesses. That's 2 Corinthians 12, 7 through 10. They teach us to depend on the Lord for the power to persevere and mature. Fourth, our suffering was, has eternal benefits. Earthly affliction is, produce, is producing for us an inter, eternal weight of glory far beyond our, compa our comparison. That's 4 and 17. Let these truths encourage you to view your next trial from God's perspective. Though you may not feel it at the time, the Lord is with you. He is your hope and sufficiency. And I tell you that every time something is going on, he's always there. He's always there. So, I love everybody. Be blessed. I saw what they had a tornado touchdown in Wisconsin prayers for those uh, who live there. I actually have some relatives there. So we'll be checking on them. So you all, be blessed. Much love. Goodbye.